First thing first, we are going to make the ripping stitch panel around the waist. To begin, make a slip knot. Then chain 8. So this chain is the high of the ripping stitches. If you want the ripping higher, you can add more chains. After you have made 8 chains, next we are going to make single crochet. To begin, skip 1 chain. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have 2 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every chain until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. Next, for row 2, chain 1, turn your work, then we are going to make single crochet but in the back loop only. So start from row 2, we only pick the back loop. And now we are going to repeat this into every stitches until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. And now after you reach the end of the row, for the next row we are going to repeat row 2 until you reach row 87. It is the length around my waist and if you guys want the top bigger, please add more rows and if you want it smaller, please make less rows. And now after you reach your desired fit, next we are going to connect the ribbing panel together by slip stitch both edges. To begin, 
continue from where your last stitch is. Then insert the hook into the first stitch of second edge. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Again, insert the hook into both edges. Then, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every stitches until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then chain 1. Next, turn the ribbon panel right side out, so the slip stitch seams will be on the wrong side. Next, we are going to make single crochet into the ribbon stitch panels. Then make double crochet into the next stitch. To make double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through off the loop. So now you have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through off two loops. And yarn over, pull through off two loops again. Next, after you have made the ball crochet, then we are going to make single crochet into the next stitch. And then switch to the ball crochet. In this pattern, we are going to make one stitch with single crochet and one stitch with double crochet. Repeat this into every stitches until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again.
And now, after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the first stitch of the row. Next, for row 2, turn your work. Then chain 1. So for the first row, we end with the double crochet. Then second row, we are going to start with single crochet. If your first row end with single crochet, then for the next row, you have to start from the double crochet. We are going to repeat the same thing like row 1, 1 stitch with single crochet and 1 stitch with double crochet. Remember, under single crochet should be double crochet stitch and under double crochet stitch should be single crochet stitch. In this pattern, the stitches must be alternate with each other. Keep repeating this into every stitches until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. Don't forget to use stitch marker to mark where you had chain 1 at the beginning of the row. And now after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the chain 1. Next, for row 3, turn your work. Then chain 1. So for the first loop here is where we have slip stitch. We are going to skip it. For the last stitch of row 2, we end with single crochet. So for the first stitch of row 3, we are going to make double crochet. Like I said, if your last row end with single crochet, then for your new rows, you must be start with double crochet. The stitches and the row must be alternate each other. I am going to repeat this one more row to let you see what this pattern looks like. Remember, don't forget to count the number of the stitches so you will know that your rows got over stitch or stay normal.
So now this is what the pattern looks like. We are going to repeat row 2 and row 3 until you reach row 22. If you want your top longer, you can add more rows. And now after I had reached row 22, next I'm going to make the ribbing panel around the chest. Make sure that you're working on the right side of the top. To begin, continue from where your last stitches. Then chain 8, it is the same number as the ribbing panel around the waist. And now after you got 8 chains, next for row 1, skip 1 chain and we are going to make single crochet into every chain until the end of the row. And now after you reach the end of the roll, then we are going to slip stitch to connect the ribbing panel with the top. Then make another slip stitch into the next stitch to start new rows. For row 2, turn your work. Then skip these two stitches where we have slip stitch and make single crochet into the back loop only until you reach the end of the row. Next, for row 3, chain 1, turn your work, and we are going to make single crochet back loop only until you reach the end of the row, then slip stitch 2 times to connect the row. For the next next stitch, we are going to repeat row 2 and row 3 until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again.
And now after you reach the end of the row, next we are going to slip stitch both edges together the same as the ribbing panel at the waist. Remember you must make slip stitch at the wrong side of the top. After you reach the end of the roll, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to make the strap for the top. Try the top on your body and use stitch marker to mark where you want to make the strap. To begin, attach the yarn by insert the hook into the loop of the ripping stitches. Then, grab the yarn, yarn over and pull through of the loop. Then make 50 chains. If you want the strap longer, you can add more chains. After you got 50 chains, next we are going to slip stitch into the back of the top. Slip stitch one more time into the ripping stitch. Then we are going to make slip stitch into every chain until the end of the roll.
And now, after you reach the end of the row, next we are going to make one more slip stitch into the ripping stitch to connect the strap. Next, we are going to embroider the flower and start with the white yarn. To begin, we are going to make three straight lines. Next, we are going to make the leaves.
And now your tank top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Share this with your friend. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notification bell so you will notify when I post the video. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.